Hi everyone, my name is Mungba. Pull that the online tone slave for one hour. Uh, because I'm so committed. So basically, this is a demo of the dashboard of the mobile app powered by companies, which is GDPR compliant. So as you can see, it has some patient details, the purchase result, uh, medication, and also the route they can get from selling the data. And this is all powered by blockchain using storage protocol. So that's basically the front end part. But when I click on remix your clinical scan, that's when you can register your clinical image. So that is like an IP graph. I know where exactly the image came from. And it can be re uh, remixed. So I did three images. One has original heart scan, one has damage, and one has a hole, which can be used as a data set to train your own AI model. And uh, that's basically a, also for the purpose of this exercise, I created an AI agent to generate synthetic image to help me train uh, my model, but also to, to showcase how it could be used if you had real patient scan. And the next part, and then you can show CT scan. And the next part is basically how would the interface look like, where you can upload your organ name, describe this x-ray, and upload your scan. And by doing so, it's going to generate a transaction into the blockchain story, and then kind of, uh, it kind of show ownership that you have of the image, and if I go to the slide. So, um, because I had three minutes left, I'm going to go very quickly. The nutshell patient data, meet Sarah, the patient that has cancer, her story, and also uh, provide data set for AI tech startup. And in a nutshell, some of the possibilities to increase advancement in research, education, and training. And uh, image security. So, for example, once someone has cancer and passed away, they don't get any royalty at all, but the family could get using the blockchain protocol of story. Uh, so, it's fairness, trust. And in a nutshell, if I was to go to more into story. So, basically, story is a world first IP blockchain, which is basically redefining how we perceive IP. And in a nutshell, they set out to kind of create IP Lego where anything can be asset. So my voice, my face, my body language could be IP, but in order to make it so it's really hard because you need to have expensive lawyer. And basically they're using the concept of to the image, the low hanging fruit is basically how four band, like a four part, royalty remixes, registration remix, which can can decide which IP right you want to attach to your image. So basically code is low. So basically by Python lawyer, and you can see AI is becoming a problem with our repertory mix and music. That's how the current situation is with IP law, but then with store protocol, it's kind of allowing anyone to own the IP, which include your health data. Okay. And a huge shout out to the cash quarterly, because I only managed to put it out because of this kindness. Thank you so much. Questions? Yeah, could you just just so I'm crystal clear on this. Is, is the intention to create a marketplace for data in a way that data as well as everyone else here, and that we could benefit from that by making it available to to startups or to large companies? Yeah, is it for micropayments on the use of my data? So yeah, basically right now, I went to the conference from Coxstack in Friday, which is the first AI symposium in medicine, and basically they're saying that the data that's created from patient imaging, the data control is a hospital, but then you as a patient, you should be able to own the data, and right now they've been using all the data uh, scanned from patient at the hospital in Kings, and train their own AI model, and they're able to generate revenue from having different partnership across the globe. But you as a patient that provided your IP to them, you're not getting the royalty. So the idea is to be able to use your own IP, which is your scan, and be able to set that data set to that's creating the sector of IP finance, where you are investing in your health. And if that startup becomes a unicorn, you're able to um, get an income from it as a result, because you were right at the beginning. So basically, you become an asset. You become your own IP. Your scan becomes an IP. Are you investing in your health or your dishealth because there'd be more value in it if there was something wrong with you? Would there be more value in my data if there was something wrong with me and my cholesterol goes up? 
So just answer your question. So like uh, when I went to a meeting yesterday, someone mentioned that people data could be sold for twenty fifty dollars with everything, which I think is totally unfair because really, like for me, so there's two aspects. There's people that are sick and there's proactive care. I mean, which uh, advocate of social prescribing, but really what you should be looking at as we get to the future, we're looking at being healthier and the action is taken could be used as data. How is that person able to reduce hba one c per certain amount? How is he able to reduce the blood pressure? I do meditation, I do dancing, I'm a dancer, and so on. So exponential value from me. <laughs> any other quest any questions? Yes. So what is the minimum amount of data that you would need to provide for it to be meaningful? So if you just shared a scan but don't have the patient history data, or for example the fact that you do meditation. Does that impact the quality of the data that you can get from it? I'm so glad I attended a conference. So basically, the way they're saying is, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality of the data and the category. So basically, if you have a patient that has multiple comorbidity, if you're trying to train the AI model condition, there's just in one category, which could be diabetes. So by just really providing one scan using AI, you could, because this is a technological bet, right? So this is a technology get better because I believe everyone is going to have at some point your own large language model running in your mobile phone and AR glasses. So that means any of the data that you have could be synthesized to do one image into ten. So for example, if you have breast cancer, you could say I want the size of the tumor to be slightly bigger, to be in a different part of the breast, and this data that could be used to create your AI model. I said it to you. I had it.